Hi guys, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. I'm down here at Ocean Shores and I'm taking pictures of bald eagles, birds of prey, and shorebirds. I've been using the Visual Echoes panning plate because it allows me to pan with the camera really easily. And I can get on the birds pretty quickly and then pan as I need to. When you're using the Visual Echoes panning plate, get it long ways across the door so it's balanced well. You can use a flat bean bag like this, or you can use a little bit higher one if you need to, like this. So I use this one if I'm pointing the camera up a little bit. I prefer the lower profile one if I'm shooting eye level out of the car. Now, the nice thing about the panning plate is it's low profile. It's got a Swiss Arc type uh, quick release plate on there or adapter there. You'd have to buy the separate plate and it works really well. So I can move quickly if the bird is perched and it starts to fly away or I can pan with birds if I'm trying to do a video. Then one thing you want to think about when you're using the visual echo panning plate is that you want your bean bag to be kind of level. You want your plate to be level so that if you can pan, because the bird's taking off, that your horizon is level and things like that. So you want to level your bean bag, level your panning plate, just so that you can pan easily, get a straight horizon. All right, so why do you want to use a panning plate? Because if you just put your big lens down on your bean bag, you're going to end up with the camera not being able to move right and left back and forth. I mean, the foot's going to dig into the bean bag. You're not going to be able to pan with the bird if it moves or jumps up. Or if you're shooting video, you're not going to have a smooth pan. And then the other thing is it can be hard to focus on the bird sometimes because the bean bag and the lens are rubbing against each other. So right now I would have a hard time adjusting my focus to get on a bird quickly. I think the downside to this is that the panning, if there was a tension on the panning, it would be a little bit better. But it's a great little product. It weighs about a pound. You can use it as a ground pod. You can use it shooting out of a vehicle like this. I guess a lot of people use these on rooftops on safaris in Africa. I just use it on a bean bag shooting out of my door, shooting eye level with birds of prey and stuff. Here's some images of a bald eagle that I took this morning with the Visual Echoes panning plate and then this low profile bean bag. I was shooting slightly up on the bird. And then here's some pictures of some peregrine falcons. I took these a little while ago. I used a bean bag shooting out of the car with the Visual Echoes panning plate, also known as the Walt Anderson panning plate. I use it quite a bit in my bird photography when I'm shooting out of the car. Hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like and a subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And remember, if you want to learn more about bird photography, you can pick up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback. Or you can order it directly from me from my website, and I will send you a signed copy. Thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you next week. Bye.